Hello and welcome back to Chunk Block. Since last time I went on a slight expedition into the twilight and collected a bit of sugarcane. Just so we have it. I have also spent a bit of time collecting resources. Now I have spent almost 1000 of these uh, what is it they're called? Uh, substrates. And they of course come from biofuel getting made into fuel, which we can burn. And I have two carrot farms here, all going well, even with my increased use, they work fine. Now our digital miner is down to zero. So what I basically have in here, I have anything Forge ores. I decided to go for clay just in case. I also wanted obsidian. And then I have these uh, blocks raw. That's all the filters I have in here. And these are called blocks raw. Whatever it is. So platinum, silver, nickel, lead, osmium, zinc, tin, aluminium. That's all it is. They're just sitting in here because I don't know where else to put them. So, basically, the entire range of this one is empty. I've collected all of it, so... Silver, tin, redstone. This is uh, fluoride. We got dark gems to our heart's content. We got a little bit of nether quartz, and that's actually... Left or I think, believe it was from Primal Magic that had World Gen for, for this. Not anymore. So, I have the loose tin. We have some Osmium, we have Prosperity Shards, and these are Platinum. Lapis, we got these uh, Inferium Essence. Nice. We got Lead. On the other side, we got all the Obsidian. We got Sink. We got much Cover. We got nickel, we got gold, we got iron, we got 106 diamonds, that's nice. That's aluminium, and we got some coal, and we got some uranium. So that's all the resources this thing has gathered for us. And this one is coming down there, and then it's coming back. Let's just see what happens. Not sure why it poked out. Probably because I took all the uranium. Now I have to see where it goes. What it what it does. I think it would pop out. Or something. No? I wonder how long that's going to stay in there. Well, we're going to do that. And I am fairly sure it's going to pop out at some point. So we might as well just let it have a place to go in. Pop it out, pop the uranium back and hook this one up again. That was the aluminium. Now, actually, I think what we should do is just grab all of these and convert them to just the regular blocks. Regular raw, whatever it is. Like that. And we'll just put them all back in here. They will quickly run out. And that's good. Now, this one... I did install 8 speed upgrade, 8 energy upgrades. Makes it a lot faster, but it still uses much power. Fortunately, this one could supply it all. Oh, Blue Moon. Well, I don't think it applies to this one. And why the raw tin? I think it's because there is a different th tin in here. And these do not auto-convert. 
But it's still nickel now. Where's the tin? Pretty sure I saw tin. There it is. See, it doesn't auto convert. So uh, since it does not, let's just poke it through here. Yep. Let's just see. Auto eject on. And it'll go through and we'll cook the tin. Fine. Now, um, let's see. Where is it? There. I made a few chunk spawners more since we had... Well, we can do one more. We have plenty, plenty of copper. And I still have a goal for a 5x5 chunk here. So, with three more, let's just take a quick peek at the map. And say this is one corner. I need two more here and I need two more there. I think we'll take those two. So that'll be down here. That'll be you. Thank you very much. We're not opening up too much village, but that's just how things can happen. And you, there we go. Did I get another villager in here? No, I did not. And if you noticed, I did grab all the villagers I could. This one is still no villager. And I guess I should pop one more here just for good measure. That way we got all of it. Wow, that's a big hole. So apparently that's a thing with a big going downhill thing. Well, it's fortunate I have secured all of the villages. And yes, all the villages are inside my little cave. What on earth is that? Oh, you guys. I don't care. Let me just, let's sleep then. Don't care for those things. You can burn. Now, given that we have just about infinite resources, I thought we should do something a bit different. Let's take a look in the quest book and see what can we do. We were looking at evil, evil magic, and that's where we stopped. So what can we do here? That's a dungeon chest. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. The weather container is a dark gem sugar, which is why I needed sugar cane, and a glass bottle. Let's see, do we have a glass bottle somewhere? I have all the glass, so if I don't have a glass bottle, we can make it. And uh, no, no, nothing there. Well, I got, I don't want to drink poison or any of that stuff. So, no. We don't have it. Let's just make a few bottles then. So, one of those. We will take a single dark gem. And we got a bit of sugar cane on us, so... Can I do anything? Can I... I can crush it for this. That's not interesting. I can make molasses. No, no, no. I can, I can pot it. It's good. But sugar is only this way. Well, I could put it. Oh, I'm definitely going to do that. That's much better. 
So let's do that. I still have it set up over here. So, one of you in. Jump, 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 jump. Let's see, a little more. Do -do -do. Last one. There we go. Now we got all the sugar. Let's see, what is a weather? Weather bottle. So one of those, one of those, and one of those. Weather container. Does it say what we can use it for? No. It does not. Can I use it? Still empty. What if I go outside? Do I need to hold it? No. Do I need to left click? No. Hmm. I have no idea what to use it for. I probably need that book. Well, hardened blood shards. How do we make those? Hardened blood? How do we make hardened blood? I need a drying basin, which requires black dye, wood, and iron. Now, fortunately, I can make black dye. I found out here. So, black dye. It comes from charcoal. I can make plenty of charcoal. So I did that. And I have black dye. Then I need a bit of iron. And I need a few logs. And then I should be able to make one drying basin. There we go. Now I have no idea what else I need. For a hardened blood, I need blood. And I can do under logs, I can do those. I think I had, didn't I carry a blood dude? Oh, what's this? No. Ah, nothing. I think I had a blood, blood extractor. You think I can put blood back into this one? Let's try it. I can! E. Nice. So I actually got five. How long does it take? No progress bar? Can I bathe in it? Uh, I cannot. I can't right click on it. So I guess uh, we'll find out. What about a dark power gym? I need a blood infuser. How do I make one of those? I need cobble and a blood infusion coal, which is a... Hold on. So I need a blood infusion core from somewhere. Before... Oh, that's... That's annoying. Oh, look, it's dry. So what do you need? Can I? No. I need to squish it. Whoops. Shouldn't have done that. And now my guess is it's ruined. No, not quite. I got my... But I guess I could have smelted it for nine. Right, okay, I, I could have smothered it for nine. That would probably have been the the best outcome, but okay. Let's uh let's just set another one while we look at this. So I got this. What can I use these things for? I can make a vengeance pickaxe. Mm, okay. Well, I can't quite make this because I don't have a dark power gem, do I? Mm, 
Ah, look at this. Throw a dark gem in the middle of a pool with at least five non-hardened blood blocks. Or infuse a dark gem with blood. Right, so... Let's try smelting. Got our tin, can go up there. So I need to kill mobs now. Now we've got plenty of these. Uh, we don't need this or this, and we don't need this. I have no clue, clue what to use that one for, and this can just go in there. Okay, let's head downstairs and kill a few mobs. There should be plenty of spaces where we can kill mobs. Was that up here? I heard, most definitely heard, mob sounds. Oh yeah, this is where I got some obsidian. But... Is it down here? Nah. I wonder. Out here? Nope. And this is air. Aha. Uh -huh. Look, I got a creeper. I know, yeah, I have found a bob spawner over here. When I was just goofing around. Hmm, creeper. Give me your blood. Ah, uh, almost. Still need a bit more blood. But I think we'll... Did that mean something? It might have. Oops, there's a ske Ow! Oh, no, no. Skellington. Stop shooting me. Something alive down there. Okay, let's try a few levels further down. We might get the last bit of blood we need. Let's say here. Yeah. That might actually be a good spot for that extra mob. Especially since I have now run out of torches. So... Where would it be? I need some more mobs. Come out, come out, wherever you are. And no. Right, let's uh, let's move down a bit more. There's plenty of mobs to be had. I can hear them. See, there's one. But I think we need to pop down on this level. Yep, and there we go. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. 
Right. Well. Ouch. That was not what I intended. Not sure I actually got any blood from that. Let's see. At least the creeper's gone. Okay, we got it all. Okay, we got the blood. Let's quickly go back home. Now, I need to create a little pool. And it needed to be one of those black gems. Like that, and I think I can one, two, three, four, five, plop. Aha! We got it. Okay, I need to carry one of those around. Can I. What can I use it for? Can I make a bigger one? No. No, I cannot. Ah, too bad. Anyway. We now got our blood gem, so I can make a blood infusion core. Let's do that. Take one of those and do this. Yep, that's the blood infusion core. We take, not that one, we take the blood infusion core. Surround that with this and we got ourself a blood infuser that one i think we'll stick right there so i need to put blood and gems into that and we're good to go then we can do what do we need for this dusted bowl of promises which we... okay i need to crush a dark gem which i can only do in in this thing. Right. Well, I guess we will be heading down the evil, evil magic as we get further along in the next episode. But we got a blood infuser, so now we can start progressing. So until then, bye bye.